Hi, my name is Randy Shirley. This video shows a step-by-step -step process of cloning a smaller hard drive to a larger hard drive using Clonezilla software. It's very simple, it's a few steps, and I think you'll be pleased. Okay, I have created my Clonezilla disk. And we're going to restart the computer and boot from the Clonezilla disk. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully this will go better than the, uh, the Windows uh, attempt did earlier. Okay. I'm just going to hit return here. There are a few defaults we're going to just tab through quickly here. As Clonezilla loads, it uh, takes a few minutes to load. It's 154 megabytes reading off of the uh, CD. Quite a bit larger program than I expected it to be. Okay. Okay, the default is English, so I'm just going to hit return there. Don't touch the key map. I don't really need to fool with the key map, so I'm going to hit return again. Uh, start Clonezilla. Just hit return. So what we are going to do, since I have both drives hooked up locally, instead of uh, work with images and partitions using images I'm going to cursor down to device to device work directly from a disk or partition to another disk and hit return and I'm not an expert by any means so I'm going to hit beginner for a beginner <laughs> uh, disk to local disk clone that's what I want to do so I'm going to hit return here Now you see I have four disks showing on the system. Two of them are connected via USB. I've been fooling around with all kinds of crazy ways to do this. So it says choose local disk as source. So that's going to be SDA or the 80 gigabyte Hitachi Desk Star. So I hit return. And I want to choose a local disk as the target. All data on the entire disk will be lost and replaced. It says the disk name is the device name, blah, blah, blah. The first disk in the system is HDA or SDA. The second disk is HDB, so forth. So SDB is my one gigabyte UltraStar, the enterprise drive I want to uh, clone to. So I'm going to hit return. That's my target. So I've already checked the, the file system. The check file system is good. I want to skip checking and repairing of the file system. So it gives me a little thing here. Next time you can run this command directly. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so just click enter to continue. Warning, the existing data on this hard disk or petitions will be overwritten. And uh, it's giving me the uh, one gigabyte drive, so are you sure you want to continue? Yes. 
Let me ask you again. <laughs> the existing data in this hard disk partition will be overwritten. All existing data will be lost. Are you sure you want to continue? Do you want to clone the bootloader? Yes. Wow, this must this might run pretty fast. Elapsed time 10 seconds, remaining time 8 minutes. I've only got about 28 gigabytes. Actually, space in use 24 and a half. Uh, the operating system, I have not loaded any data or a bunch of new applications. I just received the, the system and I knew that an 80 gigabyte drive was nowhere near large enough to hold uh, the data that I that I have so now uh, apparently it's working and uh, we'll come right back in a few minutes Okay, <clears throat> now let's uh, reboot. Okay, remove the disk. Close the tray and press enter. So we're going to reboot to Windows now. And go to computer. Whoops. Manage. Storage, disk management. Okay, now you can see this is my original disk. Okay, I ran out of space on the SD card, that's why the video was just cut short. Uh, so you didn't get a chance to go through expanding the partition, which is pretty simple and there are plenty of other videos on uh, YouTube that you can use for that. Uh, it worked wonderfully, it was very fast, I'm very happy with it. If you enjoyed or liked the video, please like, and as always, subscribe and share. Thanks and have a terrific day.